huh? That is not fun. We have to be careful with him. Oh, he has no torrent. Yeah, they've got the X as well as the telekinesis, but that seemed to be a little bit lost. I don't think it's going to matter as they'll chase 33 and they get first blood. It's Mira who gets credit for it. I assume they were trying to get the telekinesis into the torrent and have the juggle, but at the end of the day, once he got under the tower, kind of needs to be careful. He does have telekinesis and another fade bolt in just a second. Meanwhile, Yatoro under the tower is getting chased by 33. And he's going to need some help. He's burning to the Scorched Earth. They've got Soxa in again. This time he's under the tower Radiant once more. Uh, a couple more right clicks. And for the Illuminate, he'll get the kill after he dies. And it's old Mira in trouble, but survives the Infernal Blade. Had that wand ready to go. And Kunk is... Mm, I feel like the landing phase is actually going better than I expected for the top and mid lane. Oh, that's ping in. And the Marcy, a little bit too slow though. Yeah, but it's rebounds what? and as the dispose, the range on that's ridiculous. Even for the Requiem, it and does dead. land, and now the Marcy's dead. Laposhka came in potentially to help, but he's unneeded. Meanwhile, Mira, he's got a killing spree as they get a kill up top on the Soxa. And Yatro kind of wants more. They don't have X, they don't have a tour. Or Skidder again in trouble. If it gets stunned, okay. And of course, they use that time lapse. They want to go in. They want to Doom Collapse. They want to get this kill. And Skitter, they're going to use Skitter. the Doom, but Skidder's taking a lot of damage. Hey. He needs to run. Maposhka's here. They've got the dust, but they just don't have the damage. And with Maposhka now under the tower, and nearby, they'll stun at the Doom, but they can chase. They've got the help for the Marcy. And Torrent, it lands. He's trying to find it on the Skidder. He got the damage, but he just doesn't have enough of it. Tidebringer landed and they've got four What's heroes. That, so the that BKB is used? Is under I don't know how they fight back on, Tan oh, no, on Spirit. Oh, Yatoro. The bad spot. Oh, they got the Doom, but he got the BKB off first. So can he get away from this? They've got a TP coming in from Collapse. They're going to bring the Razor over. Look for the Requiem. And that's going to land down right on top of the Doom. Doom's in trouble. And now here comes Collapse. 33. He's already dead. The Doom's going to end up being a waste, but they've got the Telekinesis. And they throw over Snaking. Under Interesting dispose range when you've got the Aether lens and, and the dispose on the Rubik anyway. Oh, yeah. And all of a sudden, that what fight goes away and Doom's on, on cooldown. Like, what do you do? The double damage is here for Toronto Tokyo. This is a tier three. They have the presence effect to our building as well. They're going to try and go onto the Kunkka. He's low. He's in trouble. He Wait, just dead. He's got the ghost ship, but that's not going to keep him alive. Sneaky gets the kill there. Now nine. Well, well, nice Shiva stolen, and he's going forward from Aposhka. Chakram onto the Ogre, but he'll try to TP out to no avail as they got the Dispose, and they get themselves a second. It'll look like Skirt are going to run over the high ground and get themselves a Tier 3, but that's not what's happening. Instead, Tundra, with a successful defense, as they'll take out a third. Yeah, that Shiva's guard on the Timber saw surprised even me. It had zero damage to bring him down, but Skidak cares about that. And so does uh, 33 still. They don't have the highest armor count, but if that ever gets up to a significant level, yeah, I, I don't know how they win team fights. Mm -hmm. Over to the side, and they've got the Doom out, but it's on a collapse. They get the kill on a 33. They'll take out Snake King. Toronto Tokyo with a killing spree and a couple of kills there for Spirit. Yeah, easy peasy. That is. Yeah, nine is so incredibly tanky. Look at his health. 3.1k HP. Illuminate comes in. Oh, they stole and the Doom. They stole the Doom. That's going to be out onto the Timber to start. They'll look for the Requiem. And that comes in. He's dead. And with the BKB on 33, he's going to be into the fight, but he's not going to do anything with it. They already got the kill on a nine. They'll take the Timber immediately. He's going to TP back in as he falls back. Go does the Doom. They finish off this Shadow Fiend. And now they're going to look to get the Kunkka. Punk over the BKB, but it's about to wear out. They need some help. The right click damage. From they say nope. They say yes. They say yes. Or of course, Spirit also knows this. No Shadow Fiend. They fall back on a couple of these heroes. But you need to be careful. They're going to blink in. They've got the Infernal Wind. It's out on a Poshka, but they've got the Infernal Skitter. Oh, Skitter. Oh, pulled back and killed. He's got no buyback. Poshka's going to die, but that's well worth it. When he got the stun out there, he's going to buy back as well. They're on the chase, they're on a collapse, but here comes Yatoro. He's got the X again on the nine. You gotta remember that he bought back. You're at inch. So the chakram. chakram nine gets away for the moment. 
But without this Weaver, do you really want to fight? If you lose 33, it's not going to feel good. Like I said, he bought back, and there's the damage gone for 80 seconds. If they get this Aegis, the game is definitely in favor of Team Spirit. Oh, a lot of courier, and they might just follow that all the way to where the team is just staying. They know it's going top. They know there's some heroes here, so they can just assume where they are. And they have found themselves a Marcy. They've got the telekinesis. They have the static link. They have the lockdown. Skidder's going to be forced to use that PKB very early on into the fight with the right clicks coming through on Amira, but it's not enough damage to get the kill into the Ruby just yet. Finally, 33 is able to finish him off. So a one for one. Skidder's BKB will be down, and... 33 will... It's to the Shadow Fiend, but it's not doing anything just yet. They've got themselves the turret that lands on a Snake King. The damage isn't going to quite be there. Nine standing in the front line. Looking over at Toronto, Tokyo, who will pop the Satanic. It's a lot of damage, right nine. in the damage out on a nine. There's nothing he can do with this one, but the BKB popped by 33. They've got the static link on him. The kill off the Doom so fast, and they'll take out Skinner. Even with him doing the one and down, Toronto, Tokyo, he's got the ultra kill. Give him huh. a rampage. Can he get a double? Oh, yeah, he can. Toronto, Tokyo, he is ripping it up on multiple teams. <laughs> Another Triple rampage. rampage. Oh, oh my <laughs> God. <laughs> Triple <laughs> rampage.